Greetings you in the name of our Lord and our Saviour Jesus Christ. It is one thing to preach. It is entirely another thing to put into practice what one preaches. It is easy to give advices, but it is entirely another thing to put into practice in one's own life the advices the person may have been giving to others. Will you please turn to uh, Ezra chapter 8, verse 21. There by the Hawa Canal, I proclaimed a past. So Ezra was leading a group of people out of Babylon into Jerusalem. He called on the people to past so that we might humble ourselves before our God and ask him for safe journey for us and for our children with all our possessions. So Ezra was leading a group of people. And uh, they assembled in one place. And then Ezra called on the people to fast and to humble themselves before God, to seek God's face, to seek His protection. So the people were gathered, fasted, humbled themselves, and prayed for our mercy. All those who had gathered together must have been aware it will take them months before they reach our Jerusalem. They must have been aware of the challenges, of the dangers that they will face on their journey to Jerusalem. So, let by Ezra, they decide to pass and humble themselves before God to pray for God's protection. Why did her as far do that? Verse uh, 22 I was ashamed to ask the king for soldiers and horsemen to protect us from enemies on the road because we had told the king. So Ezra and the other leaders could have asked the king for assistance in the form of our soldiers to protect them on their journey to Jerusalem. They could have asked. And uh, from uh, this verse, I presume if they had asked the king for this favor to send some soldiers with them to protect them from bandits and from other dangers, the king could have granted their request. But why? Why did they not ask the king for this favor? The answer is given. Because they told the king, verse uh, 22, the gracious hand of our God is on everyone who looks to him, but his great anger is against all who forsake him. So they told the king, Your Majesty, 
we will live. We are aware of uh, the months of journey that uh, we will be traveling because they knew that it will take months before they reach Jerusalem. They were fully aware. But they told the king, look, we are aware of the time, the danger, but we know our God, Yahweh, will protect us, will take us safely to our Jerusalem. So they told the king, that's why it says, the gracious Lord, the gracious hand of our God is on, is on everyone who looks to him. So they were very confident. So they told the king, king, you don't have to worry. And we are not going to worry because our God, the hand of our the almighty God will be with us. He will uh, protect us. He will grant us a safe journey. So they believed in what they said. And now it was a time, the time had come for them to put into practice what they had told the king. Now the time had come for them to put into practice what they had proclaimed to the king and to the others. Now the time had come to put what they believed, what they have said into practice. And they did not hesitate to put what they had said into practice. They did not use the rationals. They did not use the common sense. They just trusted in God. They believed in what they had told the king about God. Verse 23, so we fasted and petitioned our God about this, and he answered our prayer. So Esther was convinced that God will take care of them. God will go before them, even as they went before the people of Israel, as they were led out of Egypt by Moses. Ezra was convinced that God will meet all their needs. Even as, they, as, even as he met the needs of the Israelites as they left Egypt and journeyed towards the promised land. Ezra was convinced that God will give him and the other leaders the strength, the wisdom, knowledge to overcome all challenges that they will meet on the way. Even as he had blessed Moses, Aaron, and the other leaders, as they led the people of Egypt, the people of Israel, out of Egypt to the promised land, they believed in what they had proclaimed, had said. As I said right at the beginning, it is easy, it is always easy to uh, preach. It is always easy to tell others how to live their Christian life. It is always easy to tell others how they should trust God, put their faith in God in time of our difficulties and challenges. But when we ourselves, who have been now preaching and now advising others, are faced with challenges, difficulties, we might fail to put into practice what we have been uh, telling others or what we have been preaching. And when we do that, all our weaknesses will just collapse. Because people around us are not so much interested in what we preach and what we, the advice that we give them. The people around us want to see what we preach in our daily lives. 
So always, I, I always tell myself, I must preach what I practice. So that people cannot question. They say, hey, he's preaching what he's practicing. So we must uh, tell others, we must preach to others what we are practicing. Or when we give advice, we should be, people must be able to see that the advice that we are giving is something that we ourselves are following. If not, the advice that we advise, the advice that we give would not have uh, any impact on uh, th those who are receiving our advice advices. They will just turn around and say, he tells us to do something, but he's, he himself does something else. We must believe. And uh, that is very important in our spiritual journey. People must see the Almighty God that we serve in the way we face our challenges, difficulties, uncertainties. If we behave like uh, the non-Christians, then we, our witnesses, witnessing will have no impact on their lives. We love to sing this song. I'm sure you too love this song. Oh Lord my God. A beautiful song. The chorus. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Yes, the God that you and I worship is a mighty God, a great God. Let people around us see our faith in our everyday life. Just like Ezra said, hey, I told the king, I preached to the king about my God. Now it's time to show him that I meant every word I said, told him about my God. So he put what he had uh, told the king into practice and God did lead Ezra and the group safely to Jerusalem. Will you put what you know about God, will you put what you tell others into practice? God bless you. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.